Your bank has been selected by Global Finance as the best bank in Central Eastern Europe. I, I would like to start by saying, by asking you what that uh, does mean for the bank. Uh, for us, it's it's a big honor uh, and uh, recognition of our uh, very successful uh, business model, which uh, exists of diversification um, in terms of countries and products. Can you give me the perspective of the bank, considering your presence in Eastern, Central and Eastern Europe? What are these crises in Western Europe mean for the business on the Eastern and Central Europe? Of course, uh, the crisis in Western Europe has an impact. Um, fortunately, uh, the, the countries in Central and Eastern Europe, uh, they managed to prepare very well for this crisis. So they have, uh, in, in, in comparison to, uh, to the Eurozone countries, they are in a much better shape. But still, of course, uh, some countries in, in Southeastern Europe, which have uh, very close relations uh, with the peripheral countries of the Eurozone, uh, they are affected by the, by the Eurozone crisis and, and hardly show any uh, economic growth. What, uh, in how many countries are you present in Central and Eastern Europe? Uh, we have uh, subsi bank subsidiaries in uh, 15 countries and, and other subsidiaries in another two countries. And has the, how's the bank uh, sort of uh, reacting or looking at all this debate on, on Europe itself? The idea of, uh, mo uh, of a banking union, all the discussion, Basel III, I mean, are you at all active in, in this discussion? How are you looking at this debate? Uh, of course, we are, we are trying to be active in this discussion because we are <laughs> very much affected right. by this discussion. Um, we uh, are, in principle, uh, supporting a banking union as long as it's uh, valid for, for the entire region. Uh, so it's uh, for us. It's a, it's of course uh, a very different uh, playing field and environment as for other banks which are not uh, part of the banking union, and uh, we we uh, try to avoid that. But uh, let's see. In the overall business of the bank, how much is uh, outside of core Europe? In other words, how much is Central and Eastern Europe in terms of revenue for the banks and? Uh, in terms of revenues, uh, Central and Eastern Europe uh, contributes around uh, between two thirds and and seventy five percent. So it's 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 the lion's share of our business. Uh, apart from our home market, Austria, uh, it's uh, of course it's it's our home region. Yeah. And there is growth. I mean, in terms of new markets or new. Uh, we recently acquired uh, a bank in uh, Poland, a retail bank, which we will uh, now merge with our existing uh, more corporate focused bank in Poland. Um, so we, we uh, are expecting, uh, of course, growth and, and uh, revenue contribution from this uh, acquisition in the medium term. Um, and there is uh, there is a slight I would say there is there's a stable business development uh, up to slight growth, but of course the uh, the uh, regulations uh, the uh, requirement to comply with the uh, uh, capital ratio set by the European Banking Authority uh, they had a certain impact also on our business development.